everybody, it's Haley of Moth Child Cosplay here, and it has been a while since I have talked to you guys. I think it's been about four weeks since I posted a video. The first two weeks where I was gone, we were moving, if you can't tell by the completely different setup. And then last week, I just didn't feel like it. So let's just go ahead and jump into like the one project that is still actively happening, which is children. This is how far I've gotten since I talked to you guys last. I believe when I showed it to you before, it was just the one half. It wasn't even put together yet. And when I put the two halves together, I had some problems, if you can't tell. I mean, maybe you can't. It's, it's a lot more apparent in person. So right now my plan is to completely sand out all of the imperfections, make it 100% symmetrical, make a two-part mold of this. Um, my plan after doing that, I'm gonna sell them. Why not? It's already here, I have the materials, and I feel like it's a great way for me to benefit from this hobby. I'm also working right now on creating some glass daggers, and I can make children's and glass swords because they're literally the exact same model. I'm also looking into doing some dawn breakers as well as maybe some daedric weapons from Skyrim. I'm really sticking to Skyrim right now because the weapons are rather simple. It has a really, really large fan base, so a lot of people will really enjoy them. And then also, they're just really cool. Like, not a whole lot of other games have transparent swords where you can use techniques like this. And even with that said, like a lot of people don't really seem to want to take the time to use these techniques. I don't blame them. This shit took forever. It's been like a month and I'm still working on this. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but we're getting there. Progress is slow, but it's happening. And that's what's important. So outside of this, finished a formal gown. Uh, my husband and I went to a naval ball this past weekend. And because we just moved, we didn't exactly have $300 for me to throw away on a dress. So I was like, Give me a week and 60 bucks and I'll make it happen. It's a really, really nice dress. For the most part, I'm really happy with it. There are some fit problems that I would definitely um, account for next time, or I might just alter it before I wear it again. You know, I really like it. For a week, it turned out lovely. Aside from that, I also finished up my Grey Warden. <laughs> Finally, I am free from scale male hell. And I really, really like how most of this came out too. I do have some problems with the boots that I have as well as the uh, pant, which is why the boots that I'm wearing right now are kind of a different color. I bought new ones and I'm going to alter them. It's gonna take like maybe an hour of work, so it's not a super big deal. And I definitely still consider this project to be done even if the boots aren't. I also have an issue with my pants that I'm wearing. I just need to get different pants. In the game, there is no obvious buckle or button or zipper or anything. So I need to find something, some pair of pants that are high-waisted enough, but also have enough detail to not leave the bottom half of me looking empty and desolate. Anyway, this was uh, a really short vlog. I don't really have anything happening right now aside from children, but we're getting something soon. I actually am in the process of patterning out everything for the Death Knight Tier 10 for World of Warcraft. It's gonna be my Katsukon Masquerade entry, and I'm also to finish up the Lich King set for my husband so he can enter with me. At the very least, I wanna get that done for him in general so he can have a costume to wear, and it'd be just a lot of fun to have like the Tier 10 and then Arthas. I'm really excited. KatsuCon is my favorite con and I'm really, really looking forward to February. As it is right now, I have four costumes to finish. I have the Lich King, the Death Knight Tier 10, Heartseeker Ash, and then I also have the Lagambi set. I'm making another Lagambi set for my best friend and I'm really excited we're going to wear them together and get some really, really cute snowy photos. It's gonna be wonderful. If you're going to KatsuCon, let me know. We can meet up and like say hi. We can talk about costumes or like anything you want really. I don't care. And if you're not going to that, that's totally fine. My plans for next year are to go to potentially PAX East. We're not really sure about that one. Otakon and then also Colossal Con. So that's, you know, three other cons throughout the year. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. And that's not counting the smaller ones that are local to my area. Genericon in March is definitely a yes for me. I always go to Saratoga Comic Con. They're having me back there as a guest this year in November. Hopefully, fingers are crossed, they'll like me enough to bring me back again in the spring. There is Albany Comic Con. I don't go to that one because it's not my thing. But other people really, really enjoy it and they find some wonderful collectibles. Anyway, that's all I really gotta say for like this past month. Um, I will have a lot more stuff to show you next week. Hopefully, fingers are crossed. 
And once these guys are up for sale, I will let you guys know. I'm so excited. This is like turning out wonderfully. So yeah, uh, I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to go to my Facebook page, Moth Child Cosplay and Creations, or go to facebook.com slash mothchildcc. On Instagram, I am mothchild, M-O-T-H-C-H-I-1-D. And then on Twitter, I am using Twitter. I'm getting more into it and I'm enjoying myself a lot more on Twitter than I had in the past. I am mothchildcc. So yeah, go ahead and follow, like, and subscribe if you want. I don't really give a shit. Live your goddamn life. See you guys next week.